Hi everyone. I just wanted to update and um, let everybody know what's going on as of late. Um, they released me from the hospital Wednesday night and I am now home um, after having a laparoscopic hysterectomy, omentectomy, um, removal of some lymph nodes and all that. Um, the pain is still pretty bad, so I didn't actually end up recording anything yesterday because I was not in a very good place. I was just kind of achy and crabby and um, just would not have, um, it wouldn't have probably been a very good video. Not that this one is going to be Academy Award winning, but, um, you know, I just wasn't in a good mental place. Um, so I just uh, took a shower, which is super important, I think, when you are sick or when you're recovering from surgery because I think it kind of does something to make you feel a little bit human again. Um, I took a shower last night too, but I just started to feel a little dizzy in there and I had to cut it short, but um, this time I was able to, you know, get a nice hot shower and so I do feel a little bit more like a human being again. Um, so. Now I'm just sitting here in my newly acquired nightgown, which, let me tell you, nightgowns, super underrated. I'm telling you, they're hideous, but they're really comfortable. Um, so I'm on pain medication. I have two different types of pain medication. Um, I'm on Tramadol and Norco, which uh, Norco gives me crazy headaches. And Tramadol actually seems to work better, but it makes me a little bit woozy. So... Um, I think that's why I, when I got in the shower last night, I was just kind of like, I had to get out of here because I had taken a tramadol before the shower. Um, so I just took one now, so if I start going off on some weird tangent, I apologize in advance. Um, so yeah, I've been home now for, this is day two, and hopefully I will be able to do more with each day. I have a tendency to push myself a little too hard, and then I end up regretting it, and um, so I'm not going to try and do that this time. I'm just going to try and take it easy and um, hopefully my recovery will be on track and I can go back to work on the 20th. <clears throat> um, so, again, if anybody out there has been diagnosed or, you know, you, you know somebody who's been diagnosed and you're wanting to ask questions, please feel free. Um, I will, you know, answer you to the best of my ability. I know it's scary and confusing, and um, even if it's a question about hysterectomy, like, I, I've just had it. I'm 36, so I'm still fairly young to have a hysterectomy, but um, I wasn't going to risk my life over a baby that I might not ever have, so um, I decided to go for it, and I will be doing chemotherapy once uh, my doctor gets the final stage for me. She's going to set up a chemo plan. Um, she did mention something about maybe a four, four and a half month course um, with like six doses or something like that. That was after they gave me that relaxation medicine in the hospital before surgery. So uh, I don't think I hallucinated that, but there is a slight possibility. So um, I think that really happened. But um, please excuse my appearance, by the way. Um, this here is not normal. I normally do my hair, um, I normally touch it up every three or four weeks, but I don't know how long I'm going to have it, and it's a huge pain in the ass, so I just decided to kind of let my natural color grow out, which as you can see is dull and mousy and uh, generally pretty blah, but I don't know how long I'm going to have hair at all, so I just figured the hell with it and um, I'll let it grow out and then eventually come out and start fresh which is fine because I've been bleaching my hair for years and um, some of it is not in great shape. Um, it's my ADD kicking in. So again, like I said, if anybody has any questions or anybody um, you know, wants to know more about my story, I will probably do a video either this weekend or Monday um, starting from the beginning with what happened and how I got my diagnosis and um, what all has transpired since. I'm not really committing to do that now because it is somewhat of a long story and um, I'm just, I still am a little short of breath because of the anesthesia. So it gets difficult for me to talk for a long period of time. I get really winded. So um, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and let you know that I am alive and uh, 
I'm just kind of suffering and feeling sorry for myself, but other than that, um, I'm doing okay. So I've got my little oil diffusers going and um, got some pain medication and some water, so I'm all good for now. So reach out if you have any questions, like I said, or if you want to just comment or say hello or, you know, tell me your story. I'm happy to hear it. And I will check in with you guys soon. Bye-bye.